We all reach a few points in our lives where we have to reconsider why we're living. And we have to try to understand ourselves in different ways because our evaluation of ourselves is outmoded. It no longer satisfies or perhaps we're realizing how much we've judged ourselves throughout our lives and how we need to get rid of those judgments, untangle all the knots we've tied around ourselves, binding us to this self-judgment, and become someone who is freer than we were before. Um, a lot of the comforts we might have enjoyed might become cold comforts. Perhaps we're realizing how much warmth they lacked, or maybe they just don't provide us any warmth anymore. Um, our self-conception must change, but also perhaps our reasoning for why we do what we do in our daily lives. Perhaps why we do what we do isn't good enough anymore. We have to come up with new whys. We have to come up with new tasks that we do. And a lot of the time we have to attribute more time to ourselves. We have to attribute more time to our personal development. Besides the comfort and enjoyment of entertainment or, you know, or various addictions or the or the mantras we once held as most dear. Uh, I just have to do this so this person can be satisfied. I just have to do this, you know, day after day uh, to make sure that everyone is good and then I can relax. Um, I just have to, you know, make this amount of money so I can support myself. Um, a lot of these things, they, they make up lives. But at some point you start to think, Okay, is there something more to what I should do every day? Is there something more that I can imagine for how I can conceive of myself and not stick to the old judgments that have held me back? Is there more to the universe since maybe branching out spiritually uh, towards God or the gods or spirits, finding little spiritual things you can do to try and bring greater expansion in your life. Uh, the littlest spiritual tasks can bring you the greatest comfort because you're starting to tap on that door that leads beyond your understanding of this material world to a lack of understanding in the spiritual world, which is scary but wonderful at the same time. It fills your life with joy. It fills your life with a path that you can continually walk that does not end like paths in this world often do. Like self-conceptions in this world often do. Like, um, like our comforts and entertainment often do. And our reasons for living often do. Because if you watch people for long enough, you start to see how much they are trying to work for it everyone around them, trying their best, trying to work for their family and their friends, trying to work for themselves, trying to create a reality that is functional with the reality of everyone around them. But I've seen far too many people in the end when they get very old, uh, this, this was never really good enough. They never really satis they didn't never really reach any goal. They never really satisfied themselves as a person um, for who they were. And it doesn't even have to be spiritual on that level. You just have to figure out how you can satisfy the person that you are um, that is behind comfort, that is behind uh, your societal role, your job, your family. You have to figure out how to satisfy yourself as a person, your individuality. And I've seen far too many people in their elder years who never figured out how to do that. They're on death's door. They're, they're getting closer and closer and closer but meaning is getting further and further away because they have less and less energy, less and less ability to change, less and less interest. Until one day, they just find themselves drifting off into the ideas of what could have been. But it's never too late. It's never too late to become, um, to become a person bigger than the person you were before grander than the person you were before, more understanding of yourself than the person you were before. I can of course recommend meditation as I usually do, but branching out spiritually, reading 
books. Maybe you don't have to read a whole book. Maybe you just read a few pages here and there from somebody that you know from different spiritual books. Try to get a bigger conception about um, the spiritual realities around us. And uh, if you're not convinced by most of it, that's understandable. Uh, especially if you're, in your, if you're in your later years, it's hard to change. But you have to branch out into what is possible. Uh, which was previously conceived as being impossible for you to try to find a way beyond the limits of who you were and to work towards a you that can be satisfied with who you are because when you reach these points in your life you're not satisfied with who you are if you can seek external means left and right ever uh, through medications I mean I take medication too so <laughs> Granted, uh, through different medications, through different, um, through different, you know, hobbies and things like that. But you, you as a person, have to branch out as well. Your individuality. Take advantage of your this Promethean human substance that makes up the spirit of man. Everyone has it. Be you. Find who that you is and pursue it. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see all of you on my channel in the future. If you like this video at all, hit that thumbs up down there. It really helps out the channel. And of course, you can always contact me on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash hunter.salazar. I am always willing to talk with anyone who wants advice or who wishes to speak with me on certain matters. I am very open to all kinds of people, as you might have known through my channel. Anyway, find yourselves, brothers and sisters. I hope that you do, and yourself will thank you.